guys, it's Katie here and welcome to another book haul. I'm going to reveal to you the books that I've acquired throughout the past week or so. There are quite a lot, so I'm going to get straight on with it. I'm going to leave the title and the author in the description box below because I'm not going to say anything about the books and you can check them all out on Goodreads. So the first book that I got is The Waking Dreamer by J.E. Alexander. The author of this book sent me an email asking me if I would like to read and review it. So I checked it out, I looked at the synopsis and I thought it sounded great. So I said yes and he very, very kindly sent it to me. And he also signed it, which I was not expecting and I'm so, so grateful for. So thank you so much J.E. Alexander. I really look forward to reading and reviewing that for you. Then from Indigo, I got Tinder by Sally Gardner. I wasn't expecting this book to arrive at all. It is fairly short and it doesn't come out until November. So thank you so much Indigo for sending me that. I really look forward to reviewing that for you. Now I'm going to move on to books I purchased whilst I was in Bath Spa. Bath Spa is an absolutely fantastic place. It's so amazing and awesome. And I nearly got lost about 10 million times, but you know, who cares, who cares? It's fantastic. I had a great day. So first of all, I went into WH Smith where they were doing a buy one, get one for one pound deal. So I purchased four books and I got Insurgent by Veronica Roth, which is the book that comes after Divergent, which I read last month and I really loved it. And so I got this one so I could read this one. Plus Allegiant comes out this month. So I need to get straight on with this book so I can be a big part of it with every else. I then also got More Than This by Patrick Ness and look at this door it's like hello anybody home but I'm really looking forward to this book because Patrick Ness is a fantastic author. I then got Briar Rose by Anna Oliver and look at that beautiful pink font this book sounds awesome because you know fairy tales are awesome. I then had to get this which is the illustrated movie companion to the Mortal Instruments City of Bones movie and I love getting movie companions to movies that I do thoroughly enjoy. So because when I went to Bath Spa it was the 30th of September and that is the anniversary of my granddad's death. So because I was also having a fantastic day I wanted to let my granddad know that and also let him know that I am still thinking about him. So I saw a British Heart Foundation charity shop and the British Heart Foundation are a charity that have supported my granddad and I wanted to give something back so I went into there and I saw they had loads of books, not just because they had books but because I wanted to give something to them. So I gave them some money and I'm so grateful that I did. It just lifts a great weight off of you and it makes you feel so much better. I got just for now by Abby Glines. I have not read a book by Abby Glines before and when I saw this I was like now is a time that I probably should read a book by her because I heard that she does do really great books. I then also got The Blessed by Tonya Hurley. This is a Passionaries novel and the book on the back here, The Blessed, is obviously the book that comes before it but this is like brand spanking new and so grateful that I found this. I then got Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen which is the book to the movie. I have not seen the movie and when I saw this book I was like let's see what it's about. It does sound great so I'm really really looking forward to reading this. Then I found an uncorrected proof copy in a charity shop that someone had handed in. I was like, what? So I was like, it sounds really good. And it's Descendant and it's by Leslie Livingstone. It is a starling novel. So I'm super surprised that I found this. But because I found this, I will probably get the first book so that I can begin this series. I then found Envy, which is by Elizabeth Miles. I recently called Fury. And this is a sequel to it. So this is also brand new as well so I'm just like that's absolutely crazy so I'm really looking forward to beginning those books. Because of Jessica from The Price is Wong she really raved about this book and when I saw her in the charity shop I got it like on a first stop impulse thing and it is The Invention of Hugo Cabret and this is by Brian Selznick and it is an illustrated novel, it is a children's book there are so many illustrations throughout and I'm looking forward to reading it to see what 
Jessica saw in this book and why she loved it. Then I went into Waterstones, which is another fantastic bookshop, and I purchased some books there. And I got Split Second by Safe and Mackenzie. This is a new one. It sounds absolutely fantastic. I have read books by her before. She's a great author, and I'm really, really looking forward to this one. I then got two books that were part of a buy one get one for half price deal and I got Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson and Laura Miracle and it sounds like it's going to be absolutely fantastic but I will read this somewhere near Christmas because it seems like one of those Christmassy novels. And then the other book that I got part of that deal is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly black and this is a book that everyone is literally reading at the moment and saying it's absolutely fantastic so i'm really really looking forward to this book so much then i went to the bathlet festival to see holly smell and andy rob holly smell is the author of the geek girl books and andy rob is the author of the geek hood books and they are absolutely fantastic authors they are so fun so amusing and they're amazing i am so so grateful that i met them so after they spoke about their books they did a book signing so from holly smell she signed the first two books in her series so she signed the first book and because i'm really great friends with holly smell on twitter she signed this one saying dear katie so great to finally meet you see you on twitter love holly loves that there and then the second book she also signed and said dear katie i hope you enjoy it love holly so i was really really grateful that holly smelled did that because she's a fantastic author and those books are so awesome and then andrew will do exactly the same with his first two books it's this one geek Hood, close encounters of the girl kind and he signed and described it to me here saying katie thank you and then in his second book he said katie i hope you enjoy it so Thank you so much Holly Smell and Andy Robb, you are both amazing authors. I have not read Andy Robb's books yet, but now that I've met him, because he's just so amusing and fantastic, I will definitely, definitely read his books. Now I'll just show you some things that are to do with the Bathlet. Here is my ticket, the Geekhood ticket, and then I got this little card, and they let me keep a poster of the event. So I was like, that's very, very nice and kind of them. And I met a blogger and booktuber on booktube. She is called Literally Loving Lucy and her blog is Queen of Contemporary. And we were doing a book swap and she gave me Dare You Two by Katie McGarry and Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. So thank you so much, Lucy. It was absolutely fantastic meeting you. And lastly, out of the physical books, I got The Burning Sky by Sherry Thomas. This book is because of epic reads and tea time. I always watch them every week and it's their fault. And I also got Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Everybody's literally raving about this book and I really really want to read it. It sounds awesome and... So yes, those are the physical books. I will now move on to the electronic arcs that I got from NetGalley and Aidwise.
anyways guys i hope you have enjoyed watching this book haul give me a thumbs up if you have and if you are having a fantastic day let me know if there's any books that you are interested in the comment box below thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye